I remember getting a call uh, from my agent saying that John Favreau wants to meet you uh, regarding a Star Wars project. And so I uh, immediately said, you know, when and where. I wanted to meet John Favreau. I didn't care what he wanted me to do. I had no idea what it was, whether it was a feature or, you know, a cereal box. I had no idea. Star Wars was a big influence on me because it was. It came out in '77. I was born in '66, so I was right at the right age. I go and I meet John at his office, and he invites me into this room that is basically, you know, um, corner to corner, covered in story illustrations of this project that he's working on, and. There are all of these incredible images of uh, a Mandalorian character. We wanted to tell a story with somebody where we had kind of more of a blank page to write it. We wouldn't be able to do this show without Dave Filoni. I think he is the truest um, lover of the material. Mandalorian, it's interesting. I mean, we all know the helmet, but the helmet is Boba Fett. So we immediately started to draw visual you know, differences between the two characters. I love the opportunity uh, to make them as human and as accessible as possible, which is strange to say because it's impossible to get to him because he's covered in armor from head to toe. The idea is that he's relatable. We're all kind of covered in our own armor, you know, and terrified of taking that armor off. And that's the thing that, that crosses him over um, into a character that we're all gonna really wanna follow. My job was to show this guy as he is as he has been, a hardened, kind of weather-beaten person that, you know, has been through things we can't imagine and is just doing a job. The show to me in the most basic storyline is about a man who's been following um, a way of life and has that way of life sort of upended by the introdu introduction of the baby. The pilot slowly chips away at that idea, especially when he meets the Ugnaught. And this little, you know, being is suddenly helping him and then challenging him. And I think it starts to make the gears in Mando's head wonder, what am I doing here and where is my line? What I've lost this idea of, you know, being a mercenary or being a person. In talking to John, I was, I asked him, what, what should I be looking at? I, I know he loves movies. I love movies. What would you like me to watch? I asked him, and, and he immediately brought up Sergio Leone and, and uh, Akira Kurosawa, Yojimbo. I think episode three, at its core, is essentially a Western. Um, it's a cross between a Western and a samurai movie. The Mandalorian, whose name is Din Djarin, um, is your iconically cool, flawed, mysterious, lone, you know, loner gunslinger. There is this kind of the Buddha looking for enlightenment and searching and searching and searching and finally settling under the tree and realizing that the search wasn't out there, the search was in here.